That is Red and Four Guys of Comic, and let's talk about U.S. Avengers issue number eight. All right, so what do we got going on in here? So basically, you know, it takes place, you know, in, in the past, years ago, and uh, with, uh, you know, what's her face? Um, why can I never remember her name? And staring here right in front of me. But anyways, you know, she's in school, you know, and uh, learning about, you know, stuff, and then about how, then about how her father died you know trying to uh save tony stark when he was captured by helping tony make the the first iron man suit you know yes she is that guy's daughter and you know years later you know you know she's or, or from the past later on she's trying to ask her mom did he have to die couldn't tony do anything she's like no tony did all he could do you know uh dr tony ho oh, that's her name yes tony ho you know the daughter of mr ho bunch of hoes in the family okay so what do we say so now it's the present she's in uh incarceration locked up with uh oh what's his face um da costa as we know from earlier in our event you know he was shot in the head and of course that didn't go off so well for him because he's basically still alive but uh barely you know he's he's ready to die why did Hydra doesn't just go ahead and put him out of his misery before, you know, he regains consciousness and creates problems? I don't know. But, of course, that would be Hydra for you. <sighs> okay. Anyway, so she's in her cell talking about, okay, how do I get out of here? What's going on? Maybe if I, where are the hidden cameras at? You know, she covers a monitor, sees that, oh, okay, they figured out what, she figured out the, the hidden cameras in a monitor. And, of course, you know, it breaks into Paris where we have Squirrel Girl and her... Uh, European team there doing some fighting against Hydra and you know doing the things that Squirrel Girl does it's like you know all right whatever and of course a lot of dialogue talking about their swords and Excalibur you know who has the biggest sword and then we you know they see that they infiltrate a Hydra facility where they have a bunch of uh, Hydra agents with a bunch of uh, Hydra gear there ready to for combat and of course, it goes into deep space where Cannonball is being basically sold, I guess you can say, like slavery. And of course, somebody from Earth shows up, it's like, hey, have you ever considered a career in education? And then it goes back into our prison cell where the hoe she is doing her daily calisthenics. You know, it's always good for a hoe to do a lot of exercise, right? So she's out there doing what, you know, walking circles and breaking people's glasses for screwdrivers and talking about, you know, how she's using her bubblegum wrappers and all this stuff to make tech just like her dad did to save Tony Stark. <gasps> oh, such a good hoe. And she makes this uh, device to put around DaCosta's head to help fix him. And of course, Hydra shows up and they decide, oh my gosh, what are you doing? And he basically, she's like, well, what would dad do in this situation? He's like, oh yeah, he would sacrifice himself to save. So in the end, you know, the Hydra comes in there and she's given all this dialogue and blah, 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 blah. And the Costa kind of wakes up and that leaves it off and to be continued. All right, we shall see what happens with the next tie-in that we have. All right, it will be interesting. It'll be more screw-ups from Marvel tie-ins. We shall see, but until then, remember, Hell Hydra, cut off one head, two more shall take its place.